Speak a 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM and Future Digibyte. Oh, gee. Oh, yeah, it feels good when you know what the fuck's going on, doesn't it, folks? A lot of souls are being trapped at this very moment. Oh, Tom Speaker sees all. Well, uh, Tom, why aren't we trapped? Well, Bob, that's a great question, but that's because you have me and I have you. Well, uh, Tom, what do I have to do with it? Well, Bob. I feel pity on even souls like you, so I have to make sure even you get that 74% back. Well, uh, Tom, uh, couldn't I be in right now? Well, Bob, I told you, you can get in and you got to take your chances. You got to dissect the ones that would have went up, and you got to look at the patterns. We knew all these could come up a little bit, but I mean, how far are they going to go? There's a reason why these red lines are there. It was just a matter of, did you think they were going to hit them? 11% would have been nice with Zill. These are coming up though now, guys. This crashed over its moving averages. So it broke over. This is very different than the other ones. If you look at the moving averages, guys, just from a moving average perspective, these are just getting over. But look what happened with Bitcoin, guys. It was crossing moving averages, which is very bearish. Let me delete some of this, uh, some of this stuff real quick. But Bitcoin did exactly where we went up to. But now, you see the white line crashing through? That's very bearish. This is getting to the top of even the moving averages now. And the moving average is under 36,000, right at my 35,993 line. And that's how high I thought it could go from the start. I was like, oh, your seven day clock's been going on forever. I just started my seven day clock yesterday. I did that for the simpleton, be truth be told. I can't tell you it's gonna crash maybe imminently. I know once this pattern finishes, we're gonna have a huge bottom out. And you see this uh, beautiful M faked everybody out within the bigger W. That's why it went up instead of down. That M would've went down, went to support, and then came back up to be bullish. It went up signifying it's extremely bearish now in this level. So everything we thought we could have possibly been looking at yesterday with that sideways and down, in order for that to work and to have a big bounce up off of that M, you would have had to come down immediately. Now, since we took the bullish route, I mean the bearish route, and went up off of that instead of coming down to support, that's extremely bearish. We needed to come down farther. So that's how you dissect a pattern within a pattern. That's ultimately a W with an M disguised in it, the bull trap people. That's all this is. If you know how to read a pattern, you know what's going on here. We're coming up to the moving averages, guys. If you want to know what a bear flag once again looks like, you well, that looks like ass because of all this stuff. I don't want to remove the, the stuff that I put on there, though, because uh, these lines have to be on here so you guys can see what's going on. It's that simple. Sometimes I'll take them off when it's not as important. It's vitally important. Okay, so what could all, you know? So 
we got to look at this from the angles of what is likely to play out in the short term. We're in the four hour, I believe. Yeah. So if you look at this logically, you're either going to crash right off or you're making this head to just break over the moving averages and then you're going to come down. That's that's the only other possibility I see. I'm, I, could you finish that off? Sure, anything's possible. Are you feeling lucky today? I think we need to go down to support to be able to finish that kind of a move off. So I think it would have to break down as the day goes on and then you'd eventually maybe come around and be able to touch that and then break down. Because there's going to be a huge move coming. Once we get down to these support levels and we bounce off it, we're going to make 70% on some of these guys. And that's not a joke. We just got to get there. We don't want to kill our portfolio now. If you made a good call on Zill or tried to ride these moving averages, well, that's you could have done that and that's what I was telling you. But you can see, guys, I don't even need to draw the W now. Even the underneath support drew the W for you. This is so bearish, I don't even know what to tell you. Yes, there's profit to be made if you caught these pre-pump. And that's what I was saying the last 48 hours. It just wasn't worth it to me. Because by the time it gets to the top, you're going to have to sell out. And if you're not watching, it's over. And everybody talking about the Shiba pump. What pump? This was way above this before. This was at the next decimal point. So I'm not sure what pump we're talking about. You mean the bounce off the bottom before a collapse? Well, yeah, this happened in every single coin. Look at this W it's forming. I said, you can get up to that fucking red line. That's the 10-1 or the 10. And then on a future bounce, if we get lucky, we might be able to get way up there. But that's out of the question. The 10 line is where I'm pushing. If we could even get that high is what I debate. And that's why I thought this uh, 798, that's why I didn't put anything in between. We're either going to make a big move up from here and we're going to show volume and get up to that next decimal point or we're staying down here. You see this big pullback right here, guys? On the candle, that huge pullback, that's the sign of a reversal. We're on a topping reversal pattern on all of these, and that's the shine that we're reversing. It couldn't even hold that. So, we're, guys, that's, that's as simple as that. T Speaker 222 XRP, Future Millionaire, Sideband on XM, and Future Digi, but OG. We're going to keep going through these as the day goes on because, guys, there's huge red flags in all these patterns, and I don't want you guys to get caught up. It doesn't matter what you're in. It's iota it's anything you see how it's drawing that w and every single pattern we go to this is nothing more than a manipulated push and it's going to crash harder than you can even imagine remember enron it's going to crash harder than enron it's already crashing harder than enron people are going fucking belly up and now they're leveraged guys the whole leverage thing i don't advise leverage i actually oppose leverage i advise against it i know you can make quick money but a lot of people end up getting liquidated and losing out on a portfolio they built for a long time because they leverage it. And then what happens? The old leverage man comes calling, the old clearing house. And what do they do? They not only take the leverage you took, they take all the rest. Oh yes, because it's very expensive to be on leverage. You could be 10 x in the motherfucker only. And let's say it goes down a few percent, you have just been liquidated. Instead of just having it, having the money you need, letting it sit there and riding it out, or adding to the position, you have no ability. You've been liquidated. It's just like a credit card to me. If you can't afford it, why put it on the credit card? If I can't pay for it in cash, sure, I use my credit card, but then I pay it off right away. Same thing with crypto. If I can't afford to buy it, I'm not fucking going to leverage it. But how volatile it is, why do you think they let you leverage? Because the manipulators can leverage you right out of an account and they know how quick it's going to drop. T speak at 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM and Future Digibyte OG. Always dropping knowledge and dropping the facts that nobody else wants to give you. Or they just are too stupid to realize. Or aren't educated enough to give these uh, this knowledge. As always, I am not a financial advisor. Should you take my advice? No motherfucking way you should. But if you do, do what the charts are saying, guys. Because, guys, I massage the charts. And I know a lot of you aren't about that life, but I really massage the charts. Charts, am I telling it accurately today? Oh, yes, Tom. You paid very close attention to detail. You, you've become a much stronger trader. Why charts, what does that mean? You used to be dumbass. What the hell does that mean, charts? You just said I was doing good. Well, Tom, even when you knew it was going to happen, you used to try to ride these dumb pumps. And you'd get fucking burned nine times out of ten. 
Well, that's true. Well, uh, Tom, I knew you were a dumb fuck just like me. Well, Bob, it's different. I, well, uh, Tom, just, ah, uh, shut up, Tom. Well, all right, Bob. All right, charts continue. Well, Tom, you got to be patient. It's the only way to win in the stock market. So, I'm going to end with this, guys. Well, uh, Tom, is it sunny days? Holy hell, are we actually going to go live rendition? Bob, will you just let me do this for fuck's sake? Ladies and gentlemen, the pen. Oh, this fucking handy dandy pen that I hate so much and has become a staple of this community ever since. Well, I don't even know when. We didn't even we didn't even have the sunny day song when this pen was out. But it's a love hate relationship, and many have promised to buy me a new pen once we make once we make bank. A real pen, not just this Samsung Galaxy or, uh, Galaxy Note pen. And Samsung Note, whatever the fuck it is. So anyhow. Without further ado, the sun, sunny days are here again. Oh, sunny days. Oh, what a day. Oh, sunny days. I wear glasses cause I can predict the charts all year. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Oh, what a day. Oh, happy days, XRP will reign supreme. Let's not get but fucked in this bull trip. Or your liquidated stay blessed.